Hey everybody, it's Jared with Duckless Plus here. If you like mini split information, installs, or anything like that that involves Mitsubishi's mini split systems, give us a like, comment, hit the subscribe button. We really could use your support. Um, here's a fitting that we really like to use when we um, install these mini splits, especially if you don't want to do a flare connection. Um, we've used these several times and we've had really good success with them. We have even filled line sets up over 600 pounds of nitrogen and these machines hold just fine with these fittings on. So I'm just going to do a shout out to ProFit. Um, uh, they're made by Rector Seal, but uh, these little guys are amazing. So they have different fittings. So this is a quarter inch union. But uh, they're great for refrigerant lines. Um, you just push and push and plug, no flaring, no brazing, you know, uh, quick release removal. This is a 3 8 one. We didn't use any on this install, but uh, that that's something that we use. And we also use this product here on our sealant of the threads. So uh, this is something that we put on all of our fittings just to make sure that... Uh, the threads on them are sealed up when we tighten them down. It works perfect. It will not contaminate a system and it works with basically all refrigerants. Okay. So, and then we're, uh, I'm up here in an attic right now. I'm just going to kind of show you what we've been doing up here. We're doing a branch box install. We just started this one today and we ran, uh, basically four sets of refrigerant lines if you look at the branch box you'll notice that this one here is bigger and it's always going to be bigger okay this is for if you're doing a unit that's bigger than a one ton you're going to put your 18s on here okay um uh we're not doing five we're only going to be doing four so this port here is not going to be getting used which is the a port just remember when you're doing your uh addressing inside here that you make sure that you address that you're not using the a circuit okay just b through d tomorrow we're going to be running the primary line sets here um, what we like to do too is we when we run our communication cables for everything just make sure you label it okay and that's just we know where they all go because they all go up in those little knockouts there Okay, and it's kind of funny. See, there's only five of them. You actually, uh, there's a little secret to these. When we like to use a fitting called a snappy, um, but when we use this one, we make this one a dual snappy connection because we use this one for the outdoor connection and we put the communication and power feed through that one to the outdoor unit. But I'll show you that tomorrow. But, um, you know, again, this is basically... You know, the branch box system right here, you can see it, you know, and, and just make sure it looks good. You know, you, you don't need to necessarily use cush clamps and unistrut and all that every time, so long as you strap it, you know, and being in an attic, you know, it doesn't need to, to look super, super fancy. But if it's in a finished space, you know, make sure you do use cush clamps and make it look really, really good, okay? But, um... You know, a lot of guys, a lot of guys don't like to do that for some weird reason. I don't know, you know, what their problem is with when it comes to cosmetics. But, you know, like, look at this line set here, for instance. We ran this pipe. See how nice and level it is? It's straight. It goes all the way over. We haven't done the termination connection on it yet, but that'll be tomorrow. But, you know, here's a ceiling cassette we did. This is the, the back side of it, the top side of it. But see how we ran these over? And we're gonna we're gonna hook it up it gets connected over here we're gonna do the all the connections on the heads here in about an hour but you know make them look good strap them strap them up so that they're not just hanging out you know what i mean so uh anywho give us a like subscribe please we really appreciate that if you if you're interested in the mitsubishi product and you want to learn about them you know ask uh, leave some questions put something in the comments we're we're uh willing to get back with you and we're also going to be doing a giveaway here soon. We're going to be giving away uh, air conditioning system, uh, Mitsubishi one-to-one uh, -one, 
uh, wall mount unit. So uh, we're, we're going to come up with a little thing what we want to do and, you know, get you guys uh, subscribing and commenting. So keep watching the videos. And then when the giveaway starts, you'll have uh, all the information on one of our videos, how to register for that and how to get it and all that stuff. So, but anyway, give us some likes, give us some comments, subscribe, hit that bell button you know if you're interested in seeing our videos when we pop up you'll be the first to know and you know hey please you know plug away give us some questions we really want to hear what you got to say duckless plus mitsubishi duckless plus out